Hi guys, I'm Kim and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here yet again today. It means the absolute world to me that you're here. Uh, I am here today to talk you through our budget plan for July 2023. Uh, so this budget plan is the first one that is going to have a lower income because I'm currently on maternity leave. Today is the 27th of July and I am pre-filming this video. I am currently 38 weeks and four days pregnant and I am scheduled in for a planned cesarean. So I'm here pre-filming a heap of videos um, in the hope that I can still keep adding content to my channel. Um, and because I'm obviously going on maternity leave or I already am on maternity leave, our income situation is drastically changing. <laughs> um, so I'm going down to half pay for 24 weeks and uh, Ben is still working full time and we're just going to kind of fumble our way through this and see did I plan well enough for the next 13 months ahead of me. Uh, so if you are interested in seeing what my July budget plan looks like then stick around keep watching and um, I'll show you. Welcome to my July 2023 budget plan. So this month is officially the first month of a lot less income for the next 13 months. And this budget is going to be what our next 12 months looks like, really. So um, basically what we've done to prepare for this is we've saved up um, a sinking fund called maternity leave um, and I have 24 weeks of income at half pay from my work. My husband is still working full time um, and after my 24 weeks is up from work I am entitled to 18 weeks of pay from the government so I'm very fortunate in Australia that um, yeah we're if you work and meet the income test you are eligible for um, extra paid parental leave. So my income for the next 24 weeks is cut in half um, and then after that it goes down again and then the last few weeks I will not be earning an income at all <laughs> which is what the mat leave sinking fund top up is going to be for. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work but you know just follow me and we'll wing it and work it out and see what happens. <laughs> So for the month of July, we plan to bring in $7,216 for the month. Now, the way that I have budgeted to have this allocated is as per this spreadsheet. And I'm going to go through it all with you and talk you through where I think we're going to be spending the money. So for our debt, for the month of July, we will be spending $2,388.48 on our mortgage. 100 for electricity, 100 for gas, 60 for water, 200 for council rates, 240 for Foxtel and internet, 130 for my phone, and 68 for Ben's phone. So moving into insurances and registrations, we plan to spend 87.20 on in um, health insurance, 145.74 on home and contents insurance, $68.08 on my car insurance. $79.08 on Ben's car insurance, $47.13 on my car registration, and $47.13 on Ben's car registration. So moving into the subscriptions, we're going to be spending $17.99 on Canva, $6.99 on Amazon Prime, $14.99 on Apple iCloud, $4 on OnePass, $11.99 on Google Play, $15.99 on Netflix, $11.99 on Spotify, $14 on Stan, $14.99 on Disney Plus, and $15.95 on Xbox. <laughs> yes, that is a lot of subscriptions, I know, but we actually use them all. Um, and if we found out that we were struggling in any way whatsoever, these are kind of the first areas we would start to cut down on. But until that becomes an issue for us, we know for the next few months we're going to be complete homebodies and we are happy to have those subscription services for our own entertainment. Uh, so for our variable expenses for the month, I've allowed 250 for fuel, 
1300 for groceries, 300 for dine out and takeaway, 150 for entertainment, and 687 for our splurge. Uh, so to be honest, um, I don't know whether we're going to be doing much entertainment for the month of July with um, a newborn in the house. Um, dine out and takeaway probably won't be so much dining out. It might be more takeaway than anything. Um, but yeah, just kind of going to see how it goes adjusting to our new normal. Um, and as always, our splurge is a total of 10% of our predicted income and um, it's split between the two of us so we get 5% each to spend on anything we want no questions asked for that month. So having said all of that for the month of July we plan to spend $6,576.72 on our kind of daily monthly living expenses. So this gives us an estimated total of $639.28 to add to our sinking funds for the month. So just as a quick rundown, the current sinking funds that we have are my maternity leave fund, emergency savings, a new line which is opportunity fund. Um, I'll explain that one to you a bit more once we fine tuned it. Uh, we now have a baby fund we have an AFL grand final fund because we have decided that this year instead of a like a normal traditional holiday as such we are going to go to the um, AFL grand final um, for those of you who are not from Australia the AFL grand final is the Australian rules football league big end of year game we have a gifts fund a car maintenance fund Christmas miscellaneous medical Dog medical, home improvements, clothing, a credit card fee fund, dog grooming and food, personal grooming, garden, ambulance cover, RAA, emergency services levy, dog registration and a ring doorbell subscription fund. Uh, so what we would do here is uh, when I know the exact amount that I have to disperse for the month between all these funds, I will add in the funds line here what we plan to add to the funds for the month, as well as what we've used for the month. That's like a really, really quick wrap up, wrap up of what July is going to look like for us. This is probably the most life-changing financial month that we have ever had so far um, when it comes to just not really knowing where our budget sits and how this new tiny human is going to fit into our life and into our budget and we've got a steep learning curve ahead of us so if you're interested in seeing how this little baby affects our income then keep watching in the months to come i'm excited to share with you all of the ups and downs um there will definitely be some other videos around like baby family content as well as budgeting sort of stuff around babies so. okay so that's it that was my july 2023 budget plan so definitely a lot less income than we're used to um but the bulk of our income still covers our everyday expenses and it still gives us the opportunity to potentially add to sinking funds um and that to me was what was really important uh, and we've also saved accordingly to make sure we have extra money to top up if we need to. So if you liked the spreadsheet that I use, um, I do have a version of it available for sale in my Etsy store for a very small fee. Um, and it comes pre-populated with all the formulas you need. And it also is an instant download to Excel. And it comes with a video here on YouTube that talks you through how to set it up. Um, and you can do a yearly budget plan, monthly budget plans. Um, it gives you a sinking fund template and you can tweak it for you. So yeah, like I said, uh, links down below if that interests you. But other than that, yeah, my life is about to hugely change. Um, I'm sure that you know, if you want to see more and find out about what went on with baby, if you want to be introduced and meet him, hear a little bit about our birth story, check out any of that stuff, stay tuned, that stuff will all be coming in the future if that sort of thing interests you. But other than that, 
I'm gonna love and leave. Um, if you enjoy these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below and ring that little bell, and that way you'll get notified of my videos in the future. And until next time, bye guys.